Cat Williams and Suge Knight at some point, you know, kind of had a friendship where they were hanging around each other. He was actually managing me. That's right. You're right. He was. He was managing him. And at some point they got in trouble for uh, allegedly threatening and assaulting a photographer at one point. I don't know if the photographer caught him coming out and they didn't want to have their pictures taken or something like that. And I, I don't know. I don't remember the whole story. Well, but. most actors. Or, or, or celebrities, for a bit, lack of a better word, don't like when they take pictures, number one, and don't ask for permission. They don't like that. But the main reason that Shug was upset about it was because he had his son with him. And they took the pictures with his son in the company of them. And he was just like, hey, give me that camera or give me those pictures. We erase the pictures because I don't want my son out there, you know, in the public eye without me... Uh, you know, without me putting out the pictures or whatever. And so that was his mainly beef with the young lady. But um, it was a female. Cat ended up out here uh, pleading out to that and got probation. So that was one of the main reasons why Suge actually took the plea deal because if he would have got convicted of that case, he would have been convicted of a third strike, which in the state of California is uh, 25 to life. So he 20, took the plea to avoid the 25 to life possibility. Or the life. He got more than 25 years, but he didn't have an ale at the end. Right, and who's going to give Suge Knight parole? Exactly. Unless you get some crazy governor to come through that, were, you know, that didn't know much about him or that grew up on death row music and, <laughs> and like him or something. But, yeah. Right. So... Uh, that was the deal. The, the, you know, the deal was they took the camera from the lady. Why they had to do that and take it to that extent, I don't know. But uh, they did have a, a better deal. That's why y'all need to get Big C style. He knows that story very well because he was there as well. And he was trying to get them to allegedly give the camera back that was taken by one of, you know, allegedly uh, some females that was instructed by Shug or Cat. I mean, I know cat history. Yeah, I know he got some, he's a pimp. <laughs> he's a pimp by nature, so I don't believe he had some females that probably did what, what they was accused of, but I don't know. I don't know the situation at all. Was there any beef between Bone and Dog Pound or Bone and Death, um, Death Row? Because I, I, I ran into a story where Lazy Bone said that Suge tried to punk them, I believe in Cleveland, and Suge kind of jumped, I'm not Suge, uh, Tupac jumped in and saved him. They probably tried to come backstage or something like that. Uh, I mean, we were in Cleveland at their arena, uh, at the Gundry Arena, uh, at a show uh, in the early part of January of 96. That's that little mini tour we had, the Easy e uh, reunion tour, it was called. Uh, matter of fact, they got that on tape. Uh, out there, it's on DVD. Uh, for those of y'all that's new to the game, that want to go and see that particular show, it was filmed there in, in New Orleans. Uh, but if it's something that happened backstage, I was dealing with Sharita, and we was going to collect the money, so it could have went down there during that time. But yeah, if they said it, it possibly happened, but. Uh, you know, Suge was hating Ruthless at the time, um, and anybody associated with him, it was possible. I don't doubt it. One of the opinions that you had that I was a little bit surprised about uh, was that Biggie shouldn't be in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Can you give some reasons why, why you think that? Well, off the top of my head, I'll just tell y'all a great athlete, because I'm not saying Vicky's not a great uh, rapper, wasn't a great rapper. I'll give y'all one an example. Do any of y'all on here think Bo Jackson should be in the baseball or the football hall of fame? College, yes. Professionally, do you? You probably will say yeah. He should be. One of the first ones to play both professionally 
baseball and football, and they're good. But why, why isn't he in either one? Longevity. Didn't do it long enough. Biggie Small had two albums that did good. Life After Death and Ready to Die. That's it. That's it. Over a, a, a two year, three year period. Y'all want to put him in the Hall of Fame? Two records. No, y'all only put him in the Hall of Fame because y'all like to do that bullshit. When y'all do something for Tupac, y'all want to do it for Biggie. Radio stations, everybody want to do that. They play a, a Tupac song, then they feel they got to play a Biggie song. How many clubs, how many parties y'all have been to where the DJ play a Tupac song, then they play a Biggie song? They play a Biggie song, then they play a Tupac song. Put up two fingers in the, in the air for, for Tupac. Put two fingers in the air for Biggie. Y'all want to do that. And that's the only reason Biggie got in the Hall of Fame, because Pac got in it. But Pac had seven albums, what, five to seven movies? Might have had nine albums prior to his death. He left us four or five albums after he died that, that still went platinum. Pocket movies, videos. Pac should be in the Hall of Fame. Biggie lack of longevity, just as Bo Jackson, one of my favorite athletes of all time. I don't agree he should be in because he didn't play long enough. I think Magic Johnson should be excluded for a lot of his accolades. As we put him on Mount Rushmore and all of that. Those are the bus that does. Because he didn't play long enough. No, Magic played more than 10 years, though. He played he? 12 years. Right. I'm just saying, I, but he didn't do with Kobe. He didn't do with LeBron. He didn't do with Michael. And all of them did, in my opinion. I'm saying, and Michael took, Michael took off years. But he didn't do with Kareem. There. And I love Magic. Magic's my second... Best athlete, athlete after Kobe Bryant. What about his impact, though? His impact Who is was up? incredible. Who? Look, him? She's a blow-up doll now. I'm, I'm just talking about when Lil he came C's. out. He's a joke. He's up there stripping and doing, taking videos butt naked. We laugh at Lil C's. Y'all call him illiterate. Y'all gonna give you credit for Jay-Z? I bet you Jay-Z don't give him credit for him. So accolades, who? Who? No, 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 no. Impact, bro. His impact on music, what he did musically, and the impact that he had. You don't think that... I told you my opinion. That that's no. big? I don't think he had two albums. We got... It's a lot of shit. Where's Coolio? Okay, now you want to put Coolio in the Hall of Fame? Coolio beat Biggie and Tupac out that year for album of the year with the MTV Music Awards. LL. He beat LL. Biggie and Tupac out of 95, 96 for uh, MTV uh, Music uh, Video of the War. But y'all want to put him in the Hall of Fame now? So what's your, what's your point? He had three good albums. Because I'm counting, I'm counting three because I'm giving him credit for the double. That's all. That's it. Ready to die. So two million up until until streaming and all of that started coming on. Once streaming and all that came on, then it went up. Y'all think because they put out all of those remixes that all those songs was on Ready to Die. Those were singles that Biggie that y'all bump into. Go pull up the album. Go pull up the original version of the album and then say, ooh, where is uh Where's one more chance? Where's, where's, where's that song at? They were all singles, right? The remix, remix, the remix to One More Chance, came after the album. Yeah, it wasn't on the album. But that's what we look. That's what we think about. Cause that's the video. That's the song that we was bumping to really from Biggie. It wasn't on, even on the albums. Think about it.
but I'm hating because I'm West Coast nigga. Ex popo police guy. Yeah, what he know? Y'all think about it. Think about it. East Coast people, because y'all the only one gonna be. Oh, he don't know what he's talking about. <laughs> think about it. Longevity is all I'm saying. I'm not saying he wasn't a great album. Uh, y'all put have y'all put Nas in the in the uh, Hall of Fame yet? Nah, I've got more albums than Biggie. No, it should be in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Absolutely. Have y'all put him in there yet? No. Y'all did. Y'all put Biggie in. All right.